Well, the Heights were alive with the sound of music for National Yodeling Day, January 30th. The Center at the Heights in Needham invited yodeler and folk artist Andy Taylor Blentis to give a demonstration and lead a workshop for community members. Taylor has been yodeling since she was a little girl alongside Werner Von Trapp at folk festivals. On Monday, she and her sister gave a demonstration and taught audience members a few traditional songs. Catherine Brody has more of the event. <laughs> On Monday, January 30th, the Center at the Heights added yodeling to its long list of programs and classes. Dancer and all-around artist Andy Taylor Blennis, joined by her sister Tina, gave a yodeling demonstration and led the crowd in some traditional songs. Woo! What most people think of is cowboy yodeling from the United States. They know that it has another root. They know that it comes from somewhere else. And the yodeling that we've always done is the yodeling that came with Werner. That was what we learned, was Austrian yodeling. It's fun to demonstrate, but it's even more fun to have people participate. Taylor's family began an Oktoberfest festival in Stowe, Vermont, where she learned to yodel alongside Werner von Trapp. Taylor and Trapp later created a CD together and published a book of 10 yodels. What ends up coming out of the old traditional forms are more commercialized forms. And the commercialized forms are faster and really highly trained. And what I love doing is what is community-based. It's always fun to watch people's participatory uh, involvement increase from the beginning to the end. I think as people get more comfortable with it, they, they start to, especially if they see other people are doing it, then they start to feel more comfortable and, and explore themselves. Taylor hopes through demonstrations like these that she can keep oral traditions from the past alive and connect communities through art. She is also doing so through dance, teaching folk dance classes in Somerville. And getting people to feel as though you can try it, make mistakes, do what you want to do. And that's what brings community together. You're not trained, you are learning, and you're doing it for fun. And it's not only that communities build through an activity that they do together, and a community feels more cohesive that way. And doing something that's not perfect, that is what comes out of it. That's the part that is the best. If you missed Monday's demonstration, you will likely have a second chance to take part in some yodeling, since the center hopes to invite Taylor back soon. In the meantime, you can learn more about her work and background on her website at andytaylordance.com. For Needham Channel News, this has been Catherine Brody. Uh, do you, oh, do you, do you, do you, do you.